Is this your idea of 3D portability? Because there are a lot better ways to take 3D on the road with you, and today we're looking at two of them, the Nintendo 3DS and the LG Optimus Pad. Let's kick it off with a look at portable 3D gaming with the Nintendo 3DS. It's bringing a whole pile of new features, not just the 3D visuals. First, it has a built-in accelerometer and gyroscope, three cameras, one front-facing and two in the back, and it's backwards compatible, so you can keep playing all those old DS games you love so much. Now onto the 3D. It's glasses free as the top screen makes use of the lenticular lens technology to make its 3D image. It's kind of similar to the, uh, the dinosaur card, but better. Now the avoidance of 3D glasses is always nice, but that often means you need to be exactly at the right angle to make the 3D work. But rest assured, there is a solution to this angle problem. It's called the 3D slider. And no, it's not a Ricky Romero signature pitch. As you move the slider up and down, you can actually increase the intensity of the 3D effect. Now you can tailor the strength of the 3D effect to your environment so you don't always have to be positioned just so or consistently have ideal lighting conditions. Now the two cameras I mentioned on the rear of the device are for shooting 3D photos, thus the two of them. And if you were paying attention during our 3D camera segment earlier, you'll already know how to use these. But there is another use for these two cameras and it's pretty cool, it's called augmented reality. It's a type of gaming that uses the camera to merge the real world and the on-screen fictional world together. Check this out, it kind of makes you feel a little queasy the first time you use it. But as I'm going through here, I'm actually using the environment and it's uh, overlaying graphics into the actual gameplay, kind of making me feel that it's all mixed into one. So let's move away from the gaming and straight to the Optimus 3D pad. Again, here we're met with a portable handheld device armed with three cameras. There's one front facing 2D camera and twin five megapixel cameras on the back. It's got an 8.9 inch screen, putting it squarely between tablets like the seven inch Blackberry Playbook and the 9.7 inch iPad and iPad 2. I guess the rationale I'm sure is that this mid range size gives you the best of both worlds. The tablet uses LG's own 3D camcorder app to record video in full 3D. This is the treat that LG believes will make the Optimus stand out from the pack. LG has even partnered with YouTube to let Optimus Pad owners quickly upload 3D videos to share with the world. The HDMI support with a cable lets you connect to other devices like 3D TVs to screen the 3D masterpiece you've just put together. Now all this 3D sounds pretty awesome, but to properly view any 3D you've shot, you're still going to need a 3D TV with the 3D glasses. 3D is a fun thing, but unless you're a serious 3D addict, the added cash required to access these 3D toys might not be worth it. But who knows, maybe I'm the dinosaur now. Rawr.